Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is Friday, which means it's yard sale day, and I haven't been out too much this year. I've been kind of busy, but um, this morning I decided to go on Craigslist, see if I could find any you know, yard sales or anything, and I found about eight or nine of them here. Um, some are estate sales, some are yard sales. Um, specifically, we're gonna be looking for what I normally look for, which is like small, valuable things, usually jewelry or coins, stuff like that. But as you know, if you've seen these videos before, we always come across stuff that we never would have thought of in a million years. Some stuff is valuable. Sometimes we get completely skunked, but you never know unless you try. So let's go check it out, see if we can find anything, and hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so it's about a week later, and we've got like three or four estate sales or yard sales or whatever. This one is an estate sale, so let's check it out. It looks pretty good. It looks like there's jewelry and stuff that there may be little pieces of gold and stuff. Hey, good morning. What you need is a hole. Just read it from both sides. Yeah, it makes me This might be good. Let me take a closer look at these. All right, so I recently did some stuff with magic cards, and these are in pretty bad shape. Magic cards? Yeah. Yeah, my whole collection got rained on. Yeah, that's... So that's just some old decks I had. Mm-hmm. Uh, How much you want for this box? $30. Oh, okay. Those are some old. Yeah, they're all ruined. They're all kind of bad, though. They're beat, yeah. Well, played without sleeves. How much you give me for them? I was thinking like five bucks. I'm going to try to resell them, but. Well, there's another box back here. Maybe I can get you a little higher. All right, all right. I know those lightning bolt cards, there's a couple of them. I know that they could be valuable if they're in better condition. My brother knows pretty much everything about magic cards. Um, but there's a lot of stuff here. I'm probably going to put the camera down after I do a walkthrough and look a little bit closer at some of this stuff. This is pretty good. I think we're going to get some good stuff here. It sells on the front. I... My brother, my guy say, take that to him and let him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's kind of like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. You got them. So sell the no, that's some other pot. Yeah. That's... You got oh, some cool agates and stuff. Yeah, the rocks really sell. I mean, we had so many rocks. And so we kind of just put, I put them all together over there. It's just clear crystal, but it's, it's really pretty. Very. Yeah, in the back here, you have to really look around. For oh, yeah. Know. We picked it as much as we could through it and tried to place it out on the table. Now it just looks like a hot mess. <laughs> so at the last yard sale, I was able to grab those little sterling silver beads. There's probably almost an ounce there. Um, and it, um, I got some other stuff that's not silver. But she wanted to give everything in one box. So that was five bucks. I also grabbed these really nice tweezers. They're actually very good swiss made and of course the magic card deck they're in pretty rough shape and now we're at the next yard sale it looks like a lot of furniture and stuff but we'll get a closer look and maybe we'll get lucky Yeah. 
right, well, she gave me this uh, bucket of old vintage mason jar. Some of these are selling for like $15 a piece, some of them even more, and these are in really good shape. I got all four plus the bucket for five bucks. All right, this garage sale is inside. Do you guys have like um, any like little pieces of silver or stuff no, like separated or is it all mixed? No, it, we, don't, we don't have any gold or silver. Either. Okay. Because I got two bars here. This one and this one. That one and that one. You want to take that? Yeah, it's a great shade. I mean, all they got to do is paint it. Hey, guys, leave them alone. Dixie, go. Oh, they're fine. They smell my dog. I'm trying to figure out if I just want to sell it as is or part it out on this one. You know, I want to sell the race car. I have I got the shop. What's that? Do you have a shop somewhere? Like a, a resale shop? Tranny. No, you no. Just buy stuff. Yeah, I just buy stuff. I do. I do go gold panning though. Yeah. So this might be interesting. How much you want for this thing? Okay. Oh, what's it worth? A buck. Buck. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Homemade knife or something. I, it's hard to say. Yeah. Maybe a letter opener. Got some old fishing lures too. Yeah, I got some old ones. I uh, got some of those ones made in Gatesville, Texas. Where did those go? It's all there. The engine, the engine's still good, uh, but it hasn't been started. The body is. You're gonna have to figure out that bit. Or project, the project. Well, the redo it. We got room that we're redoing everything and. We bought some cars that we But to me, it, it seemed pretty damn heavy exactly. for being a gold filling. Like a, I'm not sure what they cost me more. Put that like in your hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gold. I, I, well, it's, it's heavy. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a gold so tooth. Just, yeah, exactly. Okay. An old gold tooth from, from, from the good old days. That's really cool. From the good old days. Oh, yeah. Girl. Go ahead and pick it out. Do you have a, do you I don't have, want to spoil it. Do you have a scale or anything? Exactly. Because I've got one at home. All right, man. There's 26 there. Okay, cool. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Yeah. All right, so that was pretty interesting, guys. I got this. This is um, a rocket. They wanted 10 bucks for it. Um, I said five. They said okay. So that is cool. It's pretty old, and it'll be fun to shoot that up in the air. That's the only reason I got it, just for fun. But when I was looking through that um, that pile of jewelry. I asked, first I, I actually asked, is there any gold or silver here? And she said, nope, there's no silver or gold. I was like, all right. So of course I got my loop and magnet out and I found a few things. This is sterling silver, little cross there. It's got the mark right there. This one, little tiny thing, there's a mark on the inside. It says sterling on the inside. I don't know if I could zoom in there, probably not. This is also sterling silver, and it has some weight to it. And um, I got to talking to the guy that works here, and he's, you know, I told him, he was like, oh, it looks like you're, uh, you know, treasure hunting and stuff. And he's like, look what I got. And so he showed me this gold tooth. Now, I don't know if it's real gold. Um, I, I do... I, I believe it is, but I don't know for sure, because you can see on the back, it looks like it was cracked and there's like cement in it, but what else could it possibly be? So I, I, it, it, it feels like it's about a gram heavy, but because of the cement in it, I estimated about a half a gram of gold right now, a gram of gold is about 65, 70 bucks. So $35 would have been, um, probably about spot value for this gold. So he gave it to me for 25. So I got a cool gold tooth, possibly. We'll test it later. But I'm glad we got something. So um, we have, I think we have another yard sale. Maybe not. Maybe we're going home. I don't know. I got to check my list. All right, I'm back home. And these mason jars, this one here isn't vintage. I didn't notice it when I was over there. 
but we've got three of these zinc lids. I took the lids off because there was some liquid in there. I want them to dry out before I try selling them on eBay. Uh, but this is a fruit jar and they're a little bit more valuable with this glass lid. Um, but on eBay, um, they're selling for something similar to this with the lids and everything. I could probably get about $20 for it. And I paid $5 for everything, including the bucket, which the bucket itself, I don't know if you've tried buying buckets lately, but they're about five bucks at Home Depot. Um, I think I can call that a $20 profit. So this gold tooth actually weighs 2.413 grams. And we can knock a couple bucks off it because of the little bit of cement that's on there. But I tested it and it comes out to 10 karat purity, which means in US dollar value today, it's worth about $79. I paid 25 for it. So that's like a $55 profit right there. Now for the silver. These little pieces of sterling silver here, I weighed everything up and it weighs 36 grams. Now, 36 grams of silver is valued at about 30 US dollars today. So for these magic cards, I texted my brother some pictures. He's the expert and he said I got some good stuff here. Um, the only thing is a lot of it's in, it's kind of rough shape. They're not perfect cards, but some of them are pretty valuable. If there's any magic card people out there, um, these are just the lands. Um, and then over here, we have some more valuable stuff. Some of these are double digits, like 40 bucks, 60 bucks for some things. Uh, thing is, I can only get that kind of money if I sell them individually. Um, but my brother suggested, and I kind of want to do it as well. Um, I just want to sell it all as a lot. So I'm just going to throw it on eBay. I'm going to start the bidding at 40 bucks. Um, if anybody's interested, I'll put a link below. But that is all the magic cards there. And yeah, my brother thinks they're probably worth about 100 bucks on the low end, minimum, uh, on eBay. So that's $100 profit. So we're about $190 to $200 profit for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. If you like treasure hunting, don't forget to subscribe. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that actually watched the entire video. So thanks so much for that. It really helps the show. Also, huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right here. If you like this video, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and also checking out the video I have linked right over there. It's very relevant to what you just watched, and thanks for watching.